All right, welcome to this aerial view of Rosena Ranch, and we're going to be talking about how we're uh, getting all of this excess traffic through our neighborhoods from the sheriff's training center, the fire camp, uh, the rehab center, and the Glen Helen Raceway, all dumping their traffic right into our neighborhood. Now, they're coming through the coded gate, which is right at the end of Lapis Lane, and you can see the access there to the San Bernardino Fire Camp, Fire Camp, Training Camp. And then we move over and we see the large facility for the San Bernardino Sheriff's Training Camp. And then we move down the road a little bit and we see the Glen Helen Rehabilitation Center. Uh, all of the those... Uh, Activities involve a significant amount of traffic, and they're all coming through that coded gate in and out because, as Carolyn and I were able to see, we took a drive into that restricted territory to get a look, uh, and we've got an idea now of how it is that we're seeing literally hundreds of cars and trucks and vehicles coming right through our neighborhood. If we go up over the hill, we see the Glen Helen Raceway, and the raceway has a, literally has a campground on site. I don't know if it's full hookups or what, but there are lots of RVs there, uh, toy boxes, trailers, carrying off-road vehicles and, um, and off-road dirt bike motorcycles, which um, I presume they're racing around that track and up and down the hill. But then we go down this road and we get an idea what the problem is because the access to these facilities is supposed to come off of Interstate 215 and down this road. But as we drove down here, just right on this corner uh, intersection, right by the Rehabilitation Center and at the end of the raceway, there's an access road that goes over the wash. And what we were able to see by going by the road closed sign and just driving down uh, we were able to see that this road actually is uh, the access to the freeway. You see the freeway on-ramp there. But then as we come back, what we did discover was that the road is washed out right at this point. And uh, we're not sure because we couldn't see beyond this. I mean, there's a significant amount of dirt right across the road. And we wonder, too, if the road is washed out down at the other end. But what's quite clear is that if we're going to get relief from traffic, they're going to have to clear this road. And I just don't know what the uh, plans are for clearing that road and relieving our neighborhood of all of this excess traffic that is, frankly, as you can see, it's a shortcut to the Interstate 15 through our neighborhood. But uh, as things stand right now, uh, everybody is coming through that coded gate. You can see they come down Lapis Lane and up Oregon Ash, but then around Sycamore Creek and by our school and out uh, the, either the Glen Helen, past the, Rehabil past the Recreation Center, or past uh, uh, the school and uh, out to the 15, that route. But they are all coming right through our neighborhood. And we need somebody to be paying attention to this. So this whole situation raises some serious questions. Who's responsible for monitoring access through that gate? Are there plans to clear the proper access road to Interstate 215? When will it be cleared? Do authorities understand the hazards and intrusion of the enormous traffic incursion on our residential community? Please leave your comments and questions and observations right here on the next door site. Thank you. My name is Ken Kemp, and I love Rosena Ranch.